Hi third graders, I hope you're doing good. Today, we are gonna be talking about inferencing. And so, let's get into things. Okay, so today our objective is to make inferences. So by the end of this lesson, not only should you know what it means to make an inference, what an inference is, you should be able to define an inference. So if somebody in your family says, what did you learn today in school? You should be able to tell them exactly what an inference is, but also to take it a step further, you're gonna make inferences yourself. So what does it mean to make an inference? An inference is making a prediction using clues from the text about what you already know. So I have something in front of me. Normally, what's inside of it is really hot. Adults normally carry these around in the morning. It's a dish. Um, normally, what's in it is something that only adults drink. And it has a handle. Can you think a little bit about what you think maybe I have in front of me? Well, lots of... There's lots of dishes in your house, right? But there's only certain dishes that normally the adults in your house use that have hot liquids inside of them that only adults drink. So you might be thinking a coffee cup and you were exactly right. I have a coffee cup in front of me. Now you just made an inference. I didn't tell you I had a coffee cup. You thought about things you already knew in your head and the clues that I was giving you in order to make a prediction and make that inference. So, um, we're gonna look for clues. I'm gonna give you guys some text like this. We're gonna read it together and then try to use the knowledge we already have in our head with the clues to make an inference. So let's get started. My stomach was growling. I waited patiently as the waitress walked by our table. I swirled my straw around in my water and played with the napkin on my lap. Where am I? Hmm. Your stomach is growling. That means you're hungry. If there's a waitress there, that normally means somewhere you would go out to eat. If you have a glass with a straw in it and a napkin on your lap, I think that this person is most likely at a restaurant. We have a picture of a restaurant here with our text. So that's making inferences. It's not just making a random guess. I didn't say a baseball game because sometimes when I'm at a baseball game, I'm hungry, right? No, I'm looking at every single part of the text and I'm using those clues in order to make a prediction. Okay, let's do another. I excitedly jumped out of the car with my mom and sister. We walked into the store, past rows of dog food and cat litter. We could hear barks and meows. Pick anyone you want, follow your heart, my mom said. My sister and I held the brand new leash tightly and shook our heads. Where do you think this person is? So let's see, they're excited, they're with their family. Okay, you could be excited a lot of places with your family like Disneyland or sometimes I'm even excited to go with my family to In-N-Out. We walked into the store and passed rows of dog food and cat litter. Well, normally only places like pet stores sell dog food and cat litter. I guess sometimes Target or Walmart could too. Hmm, we could hear barks and meows. Well, I don't think there's many barks and meows going on at a Walmart or a Target. Okay, so mom says pick one you want, follow your heart, and then they have a brand new leash. Where do you think that they could be? All right, if you said adopting an animal at a pet store, specifically a dog, you were correct. So we have a picture here of super cute little puppies that look like they needed a home, a forever home. And the reason that I know that they were adopting an animal, specifically a dog, is because there was dog food, there was cat litter, you could hear barks and meows. The children had a leash, they were excited, and the mom said, pick anyone you want, follow your heart. So they were definitely adopting an animal. Okay, I hope you guys are having fun. I think inferences are awesome, so let's do another. Dinner is ready, Grandma called. I grabbed my plate, sat down at the table, Grandma had lots of toppings out. I added sour cream, salsa, cheese, and guacamole. I love Tuesdays. Okay, let's try to decide what we think this person is eating. So they're eating dinner, so it's not a breakfast food. They have a plate with toppings. Sour cream, well, you could put sour cream on a lot of stuff. Salsa, cheese, and guacamole. 
And then here's a big clue. I love Tuesdays. So what kind of food do some people eat on a Tuesday? And you can top it with sour cream, salsa, cheese, and guacamole, and it's a dinner food. Did you make your inference? All right, the correct answer is tacos. Of course, oh, these tacos look delicious. Maybe we'll have to do some Taco Tuesday stuff tomorrow. Um, so here's a picture of tacos, you guys. And um, of course, on Tuesdays, people often eat tacos. Um, and also, we probably wouldn't put sour cream and guacamole and cheese on spaghetti, right? Or waffles. So it makes sense that this food is tacos. Okay, one more. Let's go, my best friend said. We raced out of the classroom and into the courtyard. I had my favorite snack, goldfish. We sat on the bench and ate. Finally, it was time for Foursquare. What time is it? So in this text, it doesn't explicitly say what time it is, right? So we're gonna need to use these clues to find out. So this person is with their best friend. They're coming out of their classroom, eating a snack, sitting on a bench, and then they're about to play Foursquare. Hmm, one of the big clues here I think is that they're just eating a snack. It doesn't say that they're eating lunch. It doesn't say that they're eating breakfast. Another clue is that they're playing Foursquare and in the courtyard. Hmm, did you make your inference? Okay, it is recess time. We normally eat a snack at recess time and it's in the courtyard where we play Foursquare. Okay guys, so what is an inference? I want you to think about it for a second. And in a moment, I want you to write down what an inference is. I will give you some bonus points if you can come up with your own examples, the same way that we have some examples right now. So maybe you wanna say, I have something in front of me. There are many pages and things to read. There are some pictures and it is about a gorilla. It is the one and only Ivan, right? So you, maybe you can come up with one of these. Um, you can do a video. Uh, you can write it directly on Seesaw. You can do whatever it is you like. And then I have kind of a fun assignment. Look how fancy this is, you guys. Okay, so this assignment is for you on Seesaw. This is called Springtime Clues. So you have 12 inferences in here. You do not have to print this out. I'm gonna get a whiteboard. Okay, so I have a whiteboard right here. So number one says, I am pretty and colorful. I grow from the ground. I can be placed in your garden or in a vase or pot. I can be found. So I'm going to put number one. Okay, so pretty and colorful. Pookie, grow from the ground. You can plant it or it can be in a vase or a pot. Well, this must be... Sorry, guys, Pookie's growling. I don't know if you can hear him. This must be flowers. Okay. So you don't have to print this out. All I want you guys to do is, I just want you to get a piece of paper or you can type it directly into Seesaw, that's fine too. And then you're just gonna go down the list. I ran out of room, but you're gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then you're just gonna simply write what you think uh, the answer is based off of the inference. Okay guys, you did a fabulous job um, talking about inferences with me. We're going to be talking about inferences together all week this week, and I'm so super excited to do so with you. Um, I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, continue to reach out to me and Mrs. T if you need anything at all. And again, we are so proud of how hard you guys are working. You are doing awesome. Okay, bye third grade.